Hello everyone, welcome back to This Day in Weather. If you're just joining this channel, this is where you can learn about weather events that occurred in the United States on the date the video was posted in years past. Today is August 13th. On this day in 1943, northern Ohio was impacted by a tornado outbreak. An F3 that moved through Canton, Genoa, Redurban, and West Manor caused the worst damage. 34 people were injured and one person was killed. Two more F3s killed two more people. One in Levittsburg, where 28 were also injured, and another when an F3 came ashore from Lake Erie and hit Vermilion. On this day in 1987, a succession of thunderstorms produced excessive rainfall in Chicago, Illinois that started on the 13th in the evening and lasted until early afternoon. In 116 years of precipitation records in Chicago, this was unprecedented for an 18-hour period. The resulting flash flood was the worst to hit the Chicago metropolitan area. O'Hare International Airport received a total of 9.35 inches of rain in 18 hours, breaking the previous 24-hour record of 6.24 inches. For around 24 hours, the airport was only accessible from the air as all roads were blocked by high water, including the Kennedy Expressway. Three people died from the floods, and water damage amounted to $221 million, 1987 United States dollars. To equate to that in 2024 United States dollars, it takes just over $611.2 million. On this day in 2004, Hurricane Charlie made landfall in southwest Florida as a monster 150 mile per hour Category 4 storm. This occurred after causing heavy damage and four deaths in Cuba, and 22 hours after Tropical Storm Bonnie had struck northwestern Florida, marking the first time two tropical cyclones struck the same state in a 24-hour period. Charlie struck the northern tip of Captiva Island and the southern tip of North Captiva Island before crossing over Boquilla, Florida, causing severe damage. Charlie then continued to produce severe damage as it made landfall on the peninsula in Punta Gorda. It then continued to the north-northeast along the Peace River Corridor, causing destruction in Punta Gorda, Port Charlotte, Cleveland, Fort Ogden, Nocatee, Arcadia, Zolful Springs, Sebring, Lake Placid, and Wakula. Charlie was responsible for 35 deaths and 16.9 billion 2004 United States dollars in damage, which in 2024 United States dollars equates to over 28.1 billion dollars. Due to the damage, the name Charlie was retired from that list of Atlantic Tropical Cyclone names. It was replaced with Colin for the 2010 season. That will close up this edition of This Day in Weather, but be sure to stay tuned in because whenever there's a new video, you will learn about weather events that occurred in the United States on the date the video was posted in years past. Please hit the thumbs up button to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to be sure to never miss a new video. And if you're just joining this channel, Please check out all the other videos that have been posted on this channel.